Sometimes, dressing to impress isn't enough. These stars rose to the occasion and used fashion to express their power and freedom. Bella Hadid gave us one of the most jaw-dropping revenge dresses ever after her breakup with The Weeknd. November 2016 marked one of many splits throughout their on-again, off-again relationship. And later that month, the Victoria's Secret angel walked the runway at the 2016 Victoria's Secret fashion show. That night, she donned a sexy purple-gray lace teddy with matching chiffon sleeves and an attached chiffon train, while The Weeknd performed his hit song Starboy among the models. When she approached him, the two locked eyes for a moment. The photo of the encounter became so popular that it basically became a meme. In revenge dress terms, it really doesn't get much better than that, though Hadid wasn't quite done. The model had another revenge dress moment with The Weeknd the following year when she sported a sparkly form-fitting Alexander Wang bodysuit at the Met Gala. The bodysuit hugged her curves in all the right places and featured a low-cut back, adding even more drama to the look. Although The Weeknd attended the event with Selena Gomez as his date, Bella showed up unbothered and made sure to serve another fierce revenge dress moment. Rumors about a rekindling of their romance have been widespread since The Weeknd and Gomez called it quits, but the pair are reportedly just friends these days. Can you feel your face when you're with him? Yes, I can. Not long after her relationship with former baseball star Alex Rodriguez came to an end amid rumors that he had cheated, singer and actor Jennifer Lopez debuted both a sexy revenge dress and a new romance with former fling Ben Affleck. The old flames debuted their rekindled relationship on the red carpet at the 2021 Venice Film Festival and were absolutely dressed to the nines. JLo wore a white George Hobeka Fall Winter 21 couture dress with a jaw-dropping, diamond-encrusted low-cut neckline. As the Zoe report described it, the gown was a red carpet showstopper. What was more distractingly beautiful than the stones on her dress, however, was how she and Ben Affleck gazed into each other's eyes. JLo's dress complemented her figure beautifully and may be one of her best looks yet. As for how they restarted their romance, JLo explained to Vogue that Affleck emailed her in 2021 to inform her that a magazine requested a quote on the singer and he only had good things to say about her. They kept in touch, and old feelings quickly resurfaced. She recalled to the outlet, I always felt like there was a real love there, a true love there. People in my life know that he was a very, very special person in my life. When we reconnected, those feelings for me were still very real. After her separation from music exec Tommy Mottola, Mariah Carey arrived at the 1997 MTV Video Music Awards in a super sexy two-piece set. The outfit included a black bandeau top with a matching maxi skirt with high slits on each leg. Carey looked absolutely stunning in the set, which accentuated her figure beautifully. This fashion statement was so good that it even made the cut as one of her most iconic looks in her Life and Looks book by Vogue. Describing the outfit, she freely admitted the look left little to the imagination. The slit is kind of major. The slit is there. It's present. We see the slit. She went on to say that she felt very present and liberated at the time she opted to wear that particular fit out. The pop superstar had met Matola when she was 18, and she's described her older ex as controlling. She even likened her role in the relationship to that of a quote, child bride during an interview with Cosmopolitan. She told the magazine, There was a conscious effort to keep me as this all-American, whatever that means, girl. It was very controlled. There was no freedom for me as a human being. Carrie has since revealed that meeting and falling for baseball star Derek Jeter was the wake-up call she needed to get out, calling their fling the catalyst for her divorce in an interview with Oprah Winfrey. In 2019, Lady Gaga attended the Grammy Awards without her engagement ring or her fiancé, which sparked soon-to-be-confirmed rumors about her and talent agent Christian Carino going their separate ways. Gaga wore a sparkly Celine by Eddie Slimon gown to the star-studded ceremony. The metallic off-the-shoulder dress made for a very edgy statement, featuring a high slit and a beautiful ruffle detail on her left sleeve. To top it all off, Gaga wore over 100 carats of diamonds and jewelry. However, serving a sexy new look wasn't the only thing she did that night. Recovering from a breakup in a way only someone in Gaga's position can, she also left with three Grammys. This wasn't the first time the superstar went through a painful split. In her documentary Gaga, 5'2", the singer seemed to indicate that former fiancé Taylor Kinney became intimidated by her success, which led to more fighting and ultimately their relationship's demise. Shortly after she landed a lead role alongside Bradley Cooper in A Star Is Born, the couple decided to break off their engagement. According to People magazine, Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber's romance was on and off from 2010 until 2018. There were several breakups in that time, one of which took place in November 2014, giving Gomez the perfect revenge dress opportunity at the upcoming 2015 Met Gala. Although Gomez and Bieber attended the Met Gala separately, they still saw each other at the event. 
Gomez stunned in an elegant white satin Vera Wang gown, and she styled her hair with a beautiful updo, complete with giant white orchids, giving her a very Frida Kahlo-inspired look. While grabbing Bieber's attention may have not been her intention, she most certainly did, as TMZ reports he referred to his ex as gorgeous as he was leaving the function. When she sat down with Vogue to take part in its Life and Looks series, Gomez revealed that the dress made her feel confident again after she had been struggling with some body image issues. She recalled that her weight changes often, and that the night of the gala, she was feeling particularly insecure. I actually got a chance to work on the dress that fit my body. I had such a beautiful time shaping this dress. Despite her struggles with self-image, it's safe to say Selena was psyched by the results. Miley Cyrus met Liam Hemsworth in 2009 while filming the last song. After her divorce from the movie star, she released the ultimate breakup song with Flowers, which dropped on Hemsworth's birthday. The release date was likely no coincidence, and fans have speculated that there's also deeper meaning to the outfits the singer wears in the music video. Throughout the video, Cyrus dons three stunning looks, the first being a vintage LeMay dress by Yves Saint Laurent. The dress looks like liquid gold wrapped around her body and features a crop top with a matching hood and a long skirt. Many have speculated that the gold dress is a reference to the one Jennifer Lawrence wore to the 2012 premiere of The Hunger Games, and it's rumored that Lawrence and Hemsworth had a fling while working together on the YA franchise. To the actress's credit, Cyrus and Hemsworth were on again, off again for a number of years, and their relationship status at the time The Hunger Games co-stars kissed is unknown. After the YSL dress, Cyrus moves on to a couple of outfits that scream revenge, a black La Perla Brigitte lingerie set and an androgynous satin lapel tuxedo. According to Us Weekly, a headline-grabbing relationship between Olivia Wilde and Harry Styles began after they bonded on the set of her film Don't Worry Darling, as they reportedly clicked quite a lot while they were filming. They became official two months after Wilde split from Ted Lasso star Jason Sudeikis, with whom she shares two children. While the new partners were spotted holding hands and looking very much in love, the relationship was not meant to last. In November 2022, sources close to the couple revealed that they had decided to take a break that quickly became a permanent separation. As a source told Us Weekly, Wilde was still reeling from the split as of early December of that year, but that didn't stop her from wearing a killer revenge dress. On December 7th, Wilde arrived at the People's Choice Awards wearing a daring Dior dress with a sheer black skirt topped off with a chic belt, and social media users were quick to dub the see-through Dior showstopper a revenge dress. Taylor Swift loves leaving Easter eggs for fans in her outfits, but she really took it to the next level with her dress at the MTV Video Music Awards in 2022. To fully appreciate the significance of the wardrobe choice, we need to rewind to the 2009 MTV Video Music Awards when Kanye West famously interrupted her acceptance speech after she won Best Female Video. West's actions were widely criticized, and it kickstarted a feud between the pair that would last for years. In 2022, 13 years after West humiliated Swift in front of her peers and the whole world, she appeared to reference the incident by wearing a strikingly similar dress to the VMAs. She opted to show up in a stunning, diamond mini dress by Oscar de la Renta. Fans of the singer-songwriter were quick to praise the outfit, which CNN dubbed Flapper Chic Online. As one user wrote, 13 years ago, today, Kanye West interrupted Taylor Swift when she received the award for Best Female Video. 13 years later, Taylor Swift is wearing her revenge and redemption dress. Revenge dresses became a concept after Princess Diana debuted a custom, off-the-shoulder black number at a Serpentine Gallery party in 1994. This was quite a bold move at the time, considering most of Diana's looks were required to be very conservative under strict royal guidelines, and additionally, black was reserved exclusively for funerals in the royal family. While Diana and the then Prince Charles were already separated at the time, Prince Charles actually confirmed he'd been unfaithful that very night. While that was certainly staggering news, Diana's clearly intentional choice of attire made just as many headlines after the fact. As Sidoni Roberts, associate costume designer and head buyer for Netflix's The Crown, explained to Town & Country, it became this quite symbolic moment where she chooses to wear black, and it's representing a death of a marriage, the moving away from the palace, and then the rebirth of this independent woman. Yes, yeah, she may well have been one of the most influential and powerful women in the world, but she was completely exposed to this. Diana's famous revenge dress actually wasn't made specifically for this event. She had gotten it three years prior to the party. But according to Reader's Digest, Diana felt the dress was, quote, too daring when designer Christina Stambolian showed it to her. Once she found the right occasion to wear it, it became a stepping stone that allowed Diana to begin embracing her freedom from the royal family, showing the world that she wasn't going to let her failed marriage hold her back.